Let's try that again. Yes. There we go. Alright. So, that skill point was called Swingy, and it was basically swing through the last six targets without touching the ground. And, uh, as you can tell just from my explanation, some skill points are basically just... There we go. Skill points are just like trophies, you know, like gifts that go. That's exactly where um, Sony got the idea, they're like, hmm, Ratchet and Clank have skill points, let's make something. No, I'm kidding, but, there we go. Gimme. I don't have to touch it. Going near it should be good enough. Skill point that, I mean, gold bolt that took me a while to find. Basically, to get back up, you stand on this. Swing that up. Nope. Okay, well, swing shot. Lasers are mounted on then the Trespasser. Now, the Trespasser is an awesome gadget. Okay. So, basically, you'll see you have this one ring, and whatever ring I have is um, flashing yellow. And whichever lasers are on that ring, I can press left and right to actually move the laser. Basically, just get the laser lined up with one of these little flashing things on the side. Press down or up to go to another ring. Move that laser. Press down. Once everything's lit up in green, the door opens. Okay, more crazy. Alright, let's go. But I will not need the. I don't want the trespasser on my quick select, so I'm going to take it off. For now, it actually would be a good idea to keep it on, but I'm stubborn, so you know what? Screw it. Oh, there is a new weapon that we can buy on um, Eudora. Okay, so we'll get two new weapons on Eudora. Unfortunately, for the level after Eudora, I'm gonna need them both. Oh yeah, another cutscene. Yes, quite lovely. That should just about do it. Commander, we are finished with this world. Commence towing our planet to its next destination. Lieutenant! Yes, sir! You have fulfilled your tree quota. Barely. We are ready to return to base. Not so fast, Lieutenant. Just because we don't need any more trees doesn't mean they should have them. Destroy everything. <laughs> and with that, we gotta go save Eudora from the robot lieutenant. He's so epic. He's obviously the first boss of the game. Or is he so epic that we can't even handle his epicosity of epic proportions? Eudora's got cool music too. I got some great bargains for you today. This weapon right here. Everyone knows and loves this weapon. It's the Glove of Doom, and do we have to buy anything on this level? Even if we do, I should have enough. We get the Glove of Doom. I think he always does that with gloves, like he'll do like a little punch thing. Even though that's not what the glove of doom does at all. No, 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 no. Go back. I'm trying to show something. This is a weapon that if you don't want to get close to someone. Toss out this doom egg. Out of the doom egg will hatch four agents of doom. Agents of doom do a great amount of damage. They're basically just little mini explosive weapons that will go and attack anything. And as you can see, they do quite a lot of damage, and since there are four of them, they just took out everyone around here. And like I said, I would need both of the weapons for the next level. This is going to come in handy. I'll fight those guys when I come back. 
And don't worry, when we uh, do finish the level, we're gonna like loop back through that area, so I am gonna end up fighting these guys. One way or another. Dora's got such cool, relaxed music. Wait, I missed 10 bolts. 10 whole bolts! Okay, let's get out our. No. Get out our trespasser. Do this path first. Get in here. Now you can see that we move two legs at once now. This is still really easy. Just line that here. Put that there. Put that. Hell. Let's switch them around. Let's be different. Put that there. Put that there. Six? No. So. Wait, I'm pretty sure we're gonna. Pretty sure there are no enemies and we need to trespass again. So let's keep that out. This part has weird music, but it's still cool. And it always looks like the wall's melting there. And look at it. Look at that part of the wall. That is freaky. We basically turn this, and we get Versa Target. This part's really easy. It's incredibly short. It's just something else to get us used to the swing shot. But it's weird. This slingshot puzzle is actually a lot easier than the other one we just did. Yet, obviously, since you need the trespasser to get in here, you'd obviously be doing this one second. So how is this one easier? He's failing at all of these. He's just barely grabbing off the side. No, God. So we pull this, and we get two more versa targets. I love when the swing shot has to go really far distances, that's always awesome. Actually, I don't think we get anything for doing this, just like some bolts. Yeah, and you'll notice, this thing comes equipped with this little blue blocker, which we'll see again in another game. The blue blockers are incredibly annoying, they actually they're what make this thing, um, fairy. They're what make these puzzles fairy. Because you gotta find out how to line up the blue blocker so it's not blocking anything. But it's still easy. Oh, you know, funny. oh snap! Who's that? Who's that over there? Oh my god! Is it our old pal? Ugh! Oh my god. Let's go. Hmm, I'm gonna need the gonna need the blaster for this one. No no no. Well dude, I'm not playing around with this one. Full on health? Yeah, let's go. You sure showed him. I suppose I did. Is your current occupation leaving a rotten taste in your mouth? Then you need to know about BTS, Blog Tactical Research Station. Hi, I'm Supreme Executive Chairman Drek, and we here at BTS are seeking motivated individuals to fill positions in these exciting careers. Grind Boot Tester, Warhead Assembly Technician, Mutant Animal Husbandry, Robot Repair Man, Suck Cannon Test Dummy, and Administrative Assistant. So call BTS. Build our weapons while you build your future. I'm calling BTS today. Now we're talking. Did you see all the cool gadgets they're making? Let's go get some. No, we must continue our search for Captain Quark. You're absolutely right. I am? Sure. We need to find Quark. Although when we find him, wouldn't it be nice to be able to tell him where Chairman Drek is? I suppose. Well, we go to the space station and talk to the scientists. They work for Drek, so they're bound to know where he is. I am unsure about your logic. Ah, you think too much. Come on, let's go. Let's go get some. <laughs> I love that line. Oh, yeah. So, yeah, we totally whooped that robot lieutenant. 
I don't know if this is a spoiler or anything, but we don't see him again for the rest of the game. That was it. He literally, he literally says, like, two lines. He's like, um, I won't fail you, Chairman Drek, and we're ready to return to base. And that's it. It's kind of sad, because it really felt like they built him up a lot. And then, you know, he didn't go anywhere. Spent a lot of bolts on ammo. I'm probably not going to do that again. I'm going to want bomb glove. Surprisingly, I'm going to want bomb glove. Oh, great. There's free ammo right there. Wait. Okay. I'm good. Ah. Nope. There we go. I don't like letting flying objects get away from me. Nope. 